Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a beat for life. So I checked YouTube, I didn't really see any tutorial on making beats for life. So I was like, let me just make something real quick. So first things first, I listened to a couple of songs and I, I love his style. He likes using a lot of e-pianos, um, piano sounds, acoustic sounds, ambient sounds. Like he drowns his music in a lot of reverb. Even his vocals... I feel like there's this kind of effect that he does on his vocals, maybe like flanger, some pitch widener, or I use this vocal VST called Xvox. I'm gonna show you guys later. But let me show you guys what the beat sounds like first and I'll break down. So yeah, yeah, I know the beat doesn't sound exactly like the song, but I tried to get inspiration from the song called Fallback. It has very, very simple drums. If you don't have um, trap drum kits, you can get this drum kit called Mike Zara Stash on Reddit. Just search for it, Mike Zara Stash. You're going to find all the drums I used in this video. With the piano, I'm, I, I didn't want to do a lot of deep diving, but I know you use like an e-piano sound. This piano sound, this is not, this is not an e-piano, but it's just a, a nice piano sound. So for the effects, I have some reverb and some EQ. This is how it sounds like originally. Then I added some reverb to make it ambient. You know, you can mess around with the the reverb to get a nice setting, but... Then I added some camel space. I just picked the presets and I reduced the mix. To give it a little bit of room or like um the movement then i have an eq just cutting out the lows and the highs i honestly think this might sound better if i chose like a e piano sound but i just couldn't find one that that sounded good i don't want to deep dive too much if i use like a road let's see if i change this like a road e pianos So I just gotta take it down an octave. There you go. Take all this down one octave. So I have different variations of the chord. I feel like all the melodies in there is kind of distracting when you have vocals coming in. I'm just playing two chords. So I guess I'm on E flat minor or F sharp major. If you find very, very sad chords and you have a light vibe, because I feel like it goes for this melancholy, you know, sad, depressed vibes. <laughs> you know, then the next thing, I just added the drum bounce on pattern 10. So the rim shot is a wonder rim. The hi hats could be really anything. The 808 is more like spins 808. Very, very simple high at bounce. The drums are very, very, his drums are very, very, very light. You know, it doesn't go crazy with his drums because I think his vocals are the main thing in the song. Then I have some thumbs and some bongos going. Then a thumb. And a kick, just for the to it. Then 
the ghetto is a very simple pattern it's just plain one note d sharp which is e flat as the whole scale is then the melody i have this r from hemisphere So the whole thing now, back to the beat. So I did some vocals, guys. I don't know how to sing. It was my accent again. <laughs> I don't know how to sing, but I did my vocals just so I get a feeling, because I feel like his vocals are the main thing that goes on in the, in the music. So my vocals, like I said, I'm not the singer, guys. For you guys, come for me. I just have an EQ. It's nothing crazy. Auto tune, heavy auto tune, auto tune access. Then I have like a noise suppressor to clean out my noise. Then I use this vo plugin called Xvox. Without the pitch white noise, sounds like this. And I have some reverb. I'm sending to reverb. Same pull of the reverb. When I add the pitch white noise. So he kind of sounds wider. I think he he kind of adds flange on his vocals. I don't know, guys. I think. The way you add the reverb, because I'm sending the vocals to the reverb. When you add the reverb. Can I watch some delay? Alright guys, see you guys on the next one. I hope this video will help somebody. <laughs> yeah, see you guys in the next one.